What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. And I apologize if there is a little bit of an echo. I am filming in the new filming studio since I have moved. But today we are trying out a little bit of a different build of a deck that I've had on the channel before. And it is Dark Paladin, the OG Dark Magician fusion that everybody loved. Not only that, he does have quite the effect of uh, you can discard one card and negate the activation of a spell card. So not too bad for being a format where spell cards are very beloved, things like Delinquent Duo and Graceful Charity and Pot of Greed. So we're gonna take this for a spin and see, well, what we can do, how it, how it holds up, I guess. Now, I'm not sure if this is the most optimal build. There might be something better, but we will test that out down the line, I suppose. So starting off, we got one copy of the Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. We got two Dark Magicians and one Buster Blader. I don't know, I just kind of like that ratio, personally. You know, maybe there's something uh, something better, maybe just dropping Buster Blader completely and just kind of relying on the fusion substitutes. But we also have a Magician of Faith, a DD Warrior Lady, Kaiku, a Breaker, we got three Mystic Tomatoes, so we can also float into Cyberstein if we choose that uh, to side in. We have two King of the Swamp, two the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, which can also be uh, floated into from Mystic Tomato, so we got that, uh, that option. Three Thunder Dragons, a Sangan, and a Sinister Serpent, because, well, with Dark Paladin, we're discarding, so it's nice to have Sinister Serpent in there. Next up, we got our card destruction. We have two Dimension Fusions, because we are playing two Fusion Gates. So we are banishing monsters, a nice easy way to get uh, things back. It'd be cool to get back a Dark Magician and a Buster Blader. One Polymerization, one Graceful Charity, one Pot of Greed, two Terraforming, two Upstart Goblin, a Nolman of Crossout, a Snatch Steel, MST, and Heavy Storm to round out the spells. Then for our trap lineup, we just have the Return from the Different Dimension, and uh, yeah, three Royal Decree. So, not going too trap heavy in this one. In our side, we got three Gravekeeper Spies with our Mobius, our Cyberstein. We do have a Mirage Knight in the side as well, because we do have Dark Flare Knight, so. You know that that is an option that we can go into if we want to be really cheeky. We got two Metamorphosis, two Scapegoat, a, another Nolman of Crossout, a Nolman of Extermination, a card that I like. I feel like it doesn't get played too often, and you will see it every now and then. Our Delinquent Duo, our Sakuratsu Armor, and our Mirror Force. So, and then of course in our extra deck we got our three Dark Paladin. We gotta have that in there. Gotta show it off in there. My favorite artwork of him as well, too. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead. We'll take this for a spin and see what we can do with it. So here we go. We are, uh, we're diving on in. We did win the rock, paper, scissors. So starting off here, do our little thunder dragon things. So it looks like in this, I did have Nobleman of Extermination in the main. All right, so we get our Kaiku, we hit our Extermination on the uh, Torrential Tribute, which is pretty nice. Fusion Gate, since we have both of our Thunder Dragons in there, we are able to go right into the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. So a nice, easy 2800 body. I mean, you can't really beat that. We attack in with our Kaiku and Breaker. So, some pretty good damage. Obviously, I wish we attacked him with the uh, Twin-Headed, but hey. 
what can you do? Card destruction, so we lose our return and our uh, Buster Blader. And they just admit defeat right from that. So we go ahead right into game number two. So wasn't too crazy. It felt like it was a little bit more of a uh, I don't know, chaos deck more than just uh, showing off Dark Paladin. But getting out of that Twin Headed Thunder Dragon was pretty good. So we get hit with a Trap Dust Shoot. Unfortunately, they shuffle that Thunder Dragon back in because they realize we do just have a free Twin Headed Thunder Dragon right there with Fusion Gate and uh, one Thunder Dragon in hand. So we go ahead and we terraforming for the other Fusion Gate just to help thin the deck a little bit more. We play our Nullment of Extermination. They just activate their Royal Decree. So that's not too bad considering we're not really playing any trap cards anyways. We play Fusion Gate and we get out our Dark Paladin Boy. Attack into a Magician of Faith. So not bad, not bad in my opinion. You know, maybe we should have... Uh, Maybe, maybe done the Dark Paladin things on Graceful Charity, but hey, I digress. So we go ahead, we just attack right in. In my mind, I got two negates in my hand with uh, Dark Paladin, because he is not once per turn. So that's pretty, uh, pretty dusty, if I do say so myself. If they try and last will, I go ahead and just negate that. Uh, they play Heavy Storm, so it does destroy Fusion Gate. We go ahead and attack in. Of course, we got to clear out these Nimble Mamungas, even though he is getting uh, you know, a little bit of a life point increase from that. He goes ahead into Cyberstein, brings out Gatling Dragon. There's one Tails. There's two Tails. And unfortunately, there is the one Heads that he needed. And uh, yeah, has enough life points to Cyberstein once again, and that is game for game two so we go into game three kind of fun it's, it's just a little bit of a cheeky fusion versus cheeky fusion deck i guess you could say so we go ahead we do thunder dragon things we play our pot of greed which goes right into graceful charity and upstart which is pretty nutty if i do say so myself but then, of course, I wasn't even really thinking. Maybe I should have held on to the uh, Thunder Dragon so I could go into Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. But what can you do, I guess? So we got three Fusion Gates. At least we're able to Nobleman that Nimble Momonga, so he's not going to be getting all those increased life points. Plays Last Will. Plays Exile Force. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Definitely a good play there. Goes into the Cyber Sign creature swap. Yeah, that uh, that kind of hurts us a little bit. Kind of hurts us a little bit. So unfortunately, we uh, we bricked. We we definitely we definitely bricked here with three fusion gates, a thunder dragon, return, and a dark magician. So we're not doing too uh, too hot here. We'll go ahead and set the return, thinking you know maybe we'll be able to do something. Play return when they attack in, get out of those Thunder Dragons. They end, we draw a decree, and that is all she wrote, unfortunately. But there's the deck, a nice quick little Dark Paladin thing. This is definitely going to be something that I mess around with more. I think Dark Paladin is pretty good, in my opinion. I mean, you're able to negate those spell cards pretty easily. Obviously, the the dragon gaining doesn't really do a whole lot for us in this, but hey, still a 2,900 attack monster. That's going to be a lot stronger than a lot of other monsters getting out. I mean, realistically, our only main threat is Black Luster in terms of attack. So, yeah, I don't know. It's... Uh, it's definitely a work in progress. But comment down below, what do you guys think? What should I be playing instead? What should I be putting in here? Let's, you know, let's kind of theory craft here. Let's get something going and uh, see what we can do to make Dark Paladin, you know, a, a fun, decent deck. And of course, in the meantime, be sure to check out those links down below. Check out that Etsy store, get yourself a nice Goat Club t-shirt because they are too sweet. 
We will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye and good night. I, Seto Kaiba, president of Kaiba Corp, implore you to check these recommended videos. While you're at it, hit subscribe and first stream that notification bell for all future videos.